All right, so if I put a magnet flag down and then teleport back, as you can see, my coins are just constantly going up. What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and in today's video, I want to show you guys all the different hatching methods so that you guys can hatch hugest quicker. Now, I know this video might seem a little bit weird, like how to hatch better. Everyone knows how to hatch, you just sit there and hatch. But there's a bunch of different strategies that I've seen from some of the top clans and other YouTubers that I thought I would point out to my audience. So for beginners, when you're hatching, you obviously want an auto clicker, otherwise it's going to show your hatching animation really slow. See how it has to slowly shake the eggs and open? So for the very first tip, I would say to just pull out an auto clicker. There's a bunch of different ones you can get online. Just watch a tutorial on how to get whichever auto clicker that you would like to get. It's really easy. It's just that some of the auto clicker download pages have random ads that you can click on that look like download buttons. So just watch a tutorial on how to get an auto clicker if you don't have one. But yeah, let me turn the auto clicker on and let me show you. See, instead of the eggs sitting there and shaking, they just instantly open. So using an auto clicker will make you hatch faster. A lot of people already know that, some people don't. So let's move on to the things that most people don't know. So I've seen a lot of clans doing this, especially the top clans. They'll have one person with tiny tasks repeating the same task over and over. And the task that they're repeating is placing down a magnet flag every five minutes. These magnet flags are only 300 diamonds each. So a lot of the top clans can just get thousands of magnet flags on an alt account. And then they set up tiny task which is another application that you can look up how to get online and pretty much what tiny task does is it just repeats the same thing over and over so if you have tiny task set to jump click your inventory click this click that jump again like it'll literally just do the same thing over and over so people have an alt account setting a magnet flag in the final area all night long and then what people do is they turn their graphics quality all the way down so that you'll only render small parts of the map. And then if you set your pets to auto farm over here, as you can see, my ping spikes up and it starts lagging. But if I have an alt account leaving a magnet flag there and I teleport all the way back over here with my graphics quality low, it's actually not rendering in what my pets are doing over there that much. So I'm only lagging a tiny little bit from my pets farming. So this is a really good strategy because if you have literally just one alt account placing down magnet flags in the final area, then you can have a full server full of eight or nine of your friends or your other alt accounts all farming in that final area. So if you wanted to do this all for yourself and not help your friends out, you could literally get like nine alt accounts all hatching with their pets farming in the final area. And that one alt account just keeps placing down magnet flags. And then you can sit here and hatch with your auto clicker super fast while your pets are farming. Now, Obviously, I didn't place down a magnet flag, so my pets are farming over there for no reason, but my coins would keep going up as I'm hatching. So if I'm making enough, if I activate like tons of coin boost with the magnet flags running, then you can make enough to sustain your coins forever. So imagine you were doing this with a full lobby full of alt accounts that are all hatching and farming at the same time. It's super overpowered. And there's a lot of people that have been saying you don't even want to use huge hunter books if you're doing this strategy. You just want to make sure your coins always stay up so you never run out. So what a lot of people have been doing is putting on some critical books, some coin books, some fortune books, stuff like chess mimic and massive comet that'll give you tons of coins, lucky block book, strength, you just want to break stuff as fast as possible and get as many coins as possible while you're hatching. Because as everybody keeps pointing out, the huge hunter game pass is 100 times better than a huge hunter enchant. So if you have the huge hunter game pass, these huge hunter enchants barely do anything. So it's almost smarter to just farm tons of coins with tons of accounts while you're hatching instead of having to manually go and farm and then come back and put your huge hunter 
Hunter books back on, you can literally just leave this running for days and days on end. If you're doing this strategy with an alt account constantly placing down magnet flags. So if you don't have the magnet flags yourself, you can always make some friends and just have a VIP server where you and your whole friend group does this strategy together. That's what I would recommend. And then obviously if you're trying to hatch huges quicker, you need to have as many egg opens as possible. And to get as many egg opens as possible, you gotta be a really high rank. So if you guys haven't already seen my videos on how to rank up really quickly, you need to be a high rank in this game to get tons of egg opens. I haven't even bought my final plus three egg opens. I'm opening 77 at a time and I could be opening 80. So yeah, I need to take my own advice and get some more egg opens. But the best tip that I can give you guys for ranking up, I've said this in my last few videos every time I mention ranking up, everyone has the biggest issue with the diamond breakables quest. If you don't have VIP, it literally takes hours and hours to find like 2,000 diamond breakables to complete that quest just for a few stars when you need hundreds of stars to get through one rank. So the advice that I've been telling everyone the past few videos is to get the diamond breakables quest as your two star quest. And then you can just grind your three and your four star quest way, way quicker because you can't have multiple of the same quest activated at a time. So if you get diamond breakables as your two star quest, it makes the three and the four star quests go by like, I'm not even kidding, five or six times quicker. Even with VIP, the diamond breakables quest takes so much longer than every other quest. Like make some rainbow pets from the best egg. That's super easy. Bam, three stars done. Break five comets in the best area. I have 300 comets I can place down. So bam, that would be done in like 20 seconds if I wanted to go do it right now. So yeah, if you just get the diamond breakables quest as your two star quest, that's literally the absolute best advice I can give you for ranking up quick. It makes the three and the four star quest so much easier. So yeah, if you guys want to hatch huges faster, rank up as much as you can so you have as many egg opens as possible. Use an auto clicker on this egg, even with auto hatch. It's just so much slower without an auto clicker. Like the eggs have to sit there and shake. If you turn an auto clicker on, it's so much faster. And also fill up a VIP server with alt accounts or with other friends if you don't have the alt accounts. And then have one person just tiny tasks placing down magnet flags every five minutes. You guys could even combine all your magnet flags together. If you all have like a hundred magnet flags, you can put them all on one person's account so that not so that one person doesn't have to pay for all the flags, even though they're really cheap and you can get them for free just by item farming. You guys will literally be getting more magnet flags while you're just sitting there farming and opening eggs. Yeah, speaking of, let me actually go put a magnet flag down because it's kind of lagging my game. I bet there's a million breakables over here on the floor. Yep. All right. So if I put a magnet flag down and then teleport back. As you can see, my coins are just constantly going up. They're going up quite a bit faster than the egg would make them go down. And I'll prove it just by sitting here for a couple minutes and hatching. Like, look, I've already gone up six or seven emerald bars in the past 30 seconds. There's another emerald bar. You can literally farm so much faster than you can hatch, especially with a bunch of other friends or alt accounts in the final area. If you don't have good enough pets, friends make you farm way faster. Yeah, as you can see, my coins are still going up while I'm hatching. That's the best advice I can give about hatching. Use an auto clicker, farm in the final area, and don't even use huge hunter because the game pass is a hundred times better than the enchant. Literally just farm 24 seven while you're hatching and you'll never run out of eggs and you'll never run out of money and you can just hatch 24 seven. It's super overpowered. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment some ideas for more future videos down below and subscribe if if you have not already. Yeah, I I'm literally just getting free items while I could be sitting here hatching at the same time. I it's broken. So yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Peace out, everybody.